Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In a perfect world, a wireless signal would travel directly in a straight line from its transmitter to its receiver. This type of propagation, known as line of sight, uses the least amount of energy and results in the reception of the clearest possible signal. But in reality, many factors affect signal strength. Taking IEEE AO 2.11G as an example, the theoretical maximum throughput is 54 megabits per second, but their effective throughput is about is half or one third. What factors make wireless signal attenuation or loss? Absorption. Absorption means some materials will reduce wireless signal's strength and eat up all the potential energy. Brick wall and water are two great absorbers. Different type of wall absorbs signal differently. Dry wall absorbs less than brick wall, and brick wall absorbs less than concrete wall. And the metal wall is the worst. Besides, other metal appliances like refrigerators absorb wireless signals. Thus, it's a bad idea to put your home wireless router close to your fridge and a big fish tank. Reflection. Reflection is when an electromagnetic wave encounters an Obstacle and bounces back towards its source, thus causing loss of signal. Look at this scenario. My computer gets signal not directly from its source, but from reflection from ceiling. Some signals are absorbed by the ceiling, and some signals bounce back towards its source. Therefore, the communication between my computer and the wireless router would be affected. Keep in mind, reflection is not necessarily all bad to wireless signal. Within a room, reflection would help signals to reach its destination ultimately. Without reflection, in this case, my computer would not get any signal. If we assume the wall blocks all signals to my computer, diffraction. Diffraction occurs when an electromagnetic wave encounters an obstruction and splits into secondary waves. The secondary waves continue to propagate in the direction in which they were split. If you could see wireless signals being diffracted, they could appear to be bending around the obstacle. Objects with sharp edges, including corners of walls, of desks, or tables, cause diffraction. Diffraction is easier to understand if we use a crick as an analogy. Without any obstacle, water would flow smoothly. When you threw a stone in the middle, the creek current would split into secondary waves with many directions. Thus, a lot of energy is lost, and the creek water would flow a little bit slower. Scattering. When flashlight being shined against a disco mirror ball, scattering occurs. The same is true for wireless signal. Scattering is diffusion of wireless signal when it encounters object on even surface. When striking on even or rough surface, the mean signal 
dissipates into multiple reflected signals, which can cause substantial signal downgrade and may even cause a signal loss. Plant leaves, dusk smoke, or micro drops of water in the air can cause a possible signal wave to scatter. Last but not least, interference. A variety of household appliances can cause wireless interference, including cordless phones, baby monitors, and microwave ovens. Anything which communicates on a 2.4 GHz frequency can interfere with your home Wi-Fi signals. Even though it's not common for those items to cause the major problems, it could be worth keeping them in mind if you are having problems. There might be more factors affecting the strength of wireless signal, such as distance from AP, antennas positioning and quality, wireless media access control method, and so on. The five factors I mentioned above are more likely to appear in the networking certification tests. I hope this video is helpful and thank you very much and see you next time.